Hi, I'm, I'm Dave Puckett, and this, this story is my story. It's semi-autobiographical. I have to admit I'm not Mr. DeVore. I'm Donnie the Doofus. In 1961, I was in eighth grade. I had a very poorly done burr haircut that my father had given me. I wore leg braces, felt like an outsider, and generally preferred to sit in the back of the classroom. I knew I'd end up there anyway. I wasn't good in math, wasn't good in much of anything until eighth grade. And in that classroom, eighth grade world history, with Joe Kane as my teacher, he kept me after school one day and said, Dave, I need you to do a special project for me. And I said, what? Couldn't imagine what it was. And he said, I need you to do a bulletin board. This was 1961, and Time, Life, and Saturday Evening Post had all come out with big displays about the centennial of the Civil War. He gave me a stack of magazines, a pair of scissors, a package of construction paper, and a bottle of rubber cement. And you teachers will understand why that was the point where rubber cement became my drug of choice. I love the smell from that day forward. But I cut pictures, and I read about the Civil War, and I planned colors and planned paragraphs and, and planned a bulletin board and did his bulletin board. And he stood back one day. And said, that'll do. That's when I realized I wanted to be a history teacher. That's when I realized I could do something and do something well. And it's just such moments in middle-level classrooms around our country that children's lives turned around. So each year, you start your teaching year, look around your room, find Donnie the Doofus, and make him a teacher.